When their attorney cross-examines you about the accident, cry. About what? Everything. Especially when he asks you how fast you were going when you hit their car. Excuse me. Just sit down there. Give me the brief. Mike. Oh. Les. Mr. Williams, can Have we you talk? you found my husband? Can we talk to you privately for a moment? You can tell me here. I think we'd better speak privately. Just tell me. Did you find my husband? Please, Mrs. Williams. Will you tell me? Is he all right? Your husband is dead, Mrs. Williams. Oh. Are you all right, Mrs. Williams? Give me a moment. Can we get you a doctor? Yes. I'll arrange to have you driven home. Get my bag and things. I'm very sorry. I know. Lieutenant. Uh, did she ask where the body was? No. I didn't think so. Oh, listen, one more thing, Mr. Carlson. She didn't uh, ask how her husband was killed, did she? No. That's what I thought. All right, Lieutenant, what's bothering you now? No, nothing. nothing. No, come on. Something's bothering you. I was just that up until now, you know, she was very cool and she was very composed. And she suddenly fell apart in front of other people. So you think so strange about that? No. Convenient, maybe? Convenient? Look, Colombo, if you think she had something to do with the kidnapping, just come out and say so. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. You asked me what was bothering me, and I told you. Let's understand this one thing. If you start harassing this woman, I'm going to take it upstairs. Uh, just one minute, uh, Mr. Carlson. You see, it's like this. This is not just a kidnapping. This is a murder now. And I kind of figure that's my department. I'll see you around. Just one more thing.